it's Janet. I'm a youth services librarian here at the Wilmette Public Library. Today I'm here to tell you about our latest steam kit, parachutes. This bag contains what you need to make parachutes. You'll also be learning about gravity and drag and doing some experiments on your own. You can pick up a steam kit from the library or make parachutes with supplies that you have at home. Let's see what's in the bag. We have two, not one, but two plastic superheroes, a roll of twine, a small coffee filter, and two large coffee filters. There's also a set of directions. When you make your parachutes, you'll want to have some scissors on hand. And if you have some, hole punchers. You may also want to use a ruler and some markers. So how does a parachute work? A parachute is a device used to slow the fall of a person or object. It's usually made of fabric. As the person or object falls, gravity pulls them to the ground. But when the parachute opens, it picks up some drag or air resistance. The parachute catches the air and slows the person or object's fall, allowing for a much softer landing. Why do you need a parachute? Well, imagine that you are in an airplane. Would you rather jump with a parachute or without a parachute? We'll build a parachute and do an experiment to find out why. The first experiment starts with your small coffee filter. But the basic instructions for a parachute are the same. Take your coffee filter and fold it in half once and twice. Then, if you have a hole punch, take it and punch a hole near the middle of the bottom of your coffee filter, like this. If you don't have a hole punch, you can use scissors to make a little slit in the same place. See? When you unfold the filter, it looks like this. Now, you need to cut your parachute's lines. If you have a ruler, use it and cut maybe 11 or 12 inch lines. If you don't have a ruler, this lovely piece of paper that your directions are written on happens to be 11 inches long. So cut four pieces of string that are about that long. Now, take the string and tie one piece to each hole. One, you can just tie a simple knot, just like this. See? And then repeat that with the other three holes. After you do that, it would be a good time to color your parachute, if you want. All right, so we've got four parachute lines. We'll tie them all together so that they're a little bit easier to attach to the superhero. We'll make one big knot. We'll gather all four pieces of string together and knot them. But make sure that you leave a few inches of string at the bottom so that you have um, a little bit of string to tie to the superhero. Okay, this is how mine is so far. Now I'm gonna take the blue superhero and use that leftover string tied to it. Okay, I think
think we're ready to do some experimenting. For your first experiment, you'll be comparing the fall of a superhero without a parachute to the fall of a superhero with a parachute. What do you notice? Your next experiment will involve making a parachute from one of the larger coffee filters. The process is pretty much the same as for the one with the smaller coffee filter. Then, when you're done with that, you can compare the fall of the larger parachute to the fall of the smaller parachute. You have a third coffee filter in case you want to do additional experiments. You can change the length or the number of the lines of the parachute. You can drop it from different heights, or you can even turn a fan or a hairdryer on the parachute and see what happens. You may even come up with something else. How would you like to change the design or fall of your parachute? I can't wait to find out. Parachutes away!